in this lecture we are going to learn about function overloading okay so the concept that we will learn is function overloading and function overloading is also known as function polymorphism okay polymorphism so what does this mean what does over function overloading or function polymorphism means okay so let's take one example so what happens is in function polymorphism let's say we have a function that add numbers okay add integers so we write a function if we add integers of course we will get an int so return type will be int let us name it add int okay ints which means it add numbers okay integers now you can add integers so there can be two numbers okay there can be three numbers or there can be four numbers okay any numbers so what happens is let's say our work is that at one time we may need to add two integers okay two ints next we might need to add like three ints okay and the last one is we need to add four ints okay so for this what should we do so as we don't know the number of arguments it might be two integers it might be three integers or it might be four integers okay so we will write that okay int we will specify this also that add two int okay so add two int then we can write int n1 int n2 okay and then we can just return n1 plus n2 okay so this is one math function we need to write next one is we need to implement int add 3 int okay so now we will give int n1 int n2 and int n3 okay so we will add all the three and we will return so n1 plus n2 plus n3 so we will return this okay so similarly you can write for write for int add four int okay which will take four arguments and it will return n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 okay so this is fine but really it's kind of repetition of our work okay so you could write add ints was a good function name but because now the parameter number of parameters are different so you need to write it okay so that okay add two int add three int add four int so is there a way out okay so the question is is there a way out and yes c++ provides you that and that is basically function polymorphism or function overloading so c++ tells that same function name okay so you can use the same function name and you can give it different number of parameters okay so you can give different number of parameters okay and those parameters can have different types too okay so parameters can be of different types okay and in fact <clears throat> the return type can also be different okay so the return type can also be different but the thing is that if you have two functions of same name okay so two functions having same name and same number of arguments okay then you cannot have the same return type okay 
so this is the thing okay so you can have different number of parameters or arguments to the function and these parameters could be of different type and as well as the return type could be different okay so now let's see so what happens so this is the work and we will see one example of function overloading where we have so in this case what happened we were talking about add integers okay so add integers so what it gives us the freedom is that now we can write int add int okay so add int this function itself and now we can provide different number of arguments okay so int n1 int n2 then you can just say that okay return n1 plus n2 so this will be fine with the same function name okay so int add int so now you can have in fact three arguments okay int n2 and int n3 okay then you can return n1 plus n2 plus n3 okay so this is fine okay so int add int okay so now you have the same the arguments there are two arguments of type int okay add int three arguments of type int and in fact now you can also have add int so where i can give four arguments int n1 int n2 int n3 and int n4 okay so four arguments are there you can type return n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 okay so this would be fine so all these are now overloaded function add int is an overloaded function which takes different number of arguments okay so this is one example here what we do is we see another example and this example is that i want a function okay so that does triples the value of the number you give okay so its function is triple the value so the function name that is suitable is triple value but again here the problem is i can have the number i can pass it as int i can pass it as double i can have a number which is float okay so now what happens the problem is that you again so in this example if you don't have function polymorphism or overloaded functions then again what we need to do for integers i will have to write return type int triple value int i have to add i will pass argument as int val double okay it will be the return type if the argument i am passing i want to multiply triple the value of a double so it will be the function name will be triple value double and it will be double val okay and it will return double if i am passing a float then i will write a return type as float and the function name as triple val value float okay so this works fine but what happens is that it doesn't look very nice okay because triple value the function name is triple value whatever type is supported i should just get and i need not define the type of the parameter okay so let's see what is happening so we will try to this code so triple value int i have one triple value double okay is being called okay so we have int one number is int one is double and other is float okay so three types of numbers are there i want to triple them this code does that okay so i build this code and now i run it so you can see triple value of i which is integer is 9 3 becomes 9 double value 4.12 becomes 12.36 and triple of a float number 2.34 4 becomes 7.02 okay so this is fine 
but it's not looking nice we will use function overloading so what will i do i will just remove this int from here i will remove this double from here i will remove this float and in the function call also i will remove int here double is removed and this float is removed okay so now from int triple val so now i don't need to add this specific int word here okay so from triple value this double i will just remove now this function is looking very good okay so triple value okay so now you provide it an int as argument it will return an int if you provide it a double it will return you a double and if you provide it a float it will return you a float okay so this becomes a nice code which demonstrates function overloading let's try to uh, build and run it okay so we build it so it is working fine okay it has been built zero errors if you see here zero errors now we try to run it so you see triple of i is 3 is 9 double value 4.21 becomes double 12.36 float 2.34 becomes 7.02 okay so this shows that you can use function overloading where we have the same function name but it takes different argument okay and it returns also different argument type okay so this shows that because the work is the same function name denotes the work okay the work is the same i'm just tripling the value of the argument and hence i should not again write triple value in triple value double this c++ feature of function overloading helps me in doubling the values so i hope you understand this thanks a lot